So despite being over 3,000 miles wide, Canada is not actually that big. Only 34 million people live in this country, which is less than the number of Americans who live in California. And of those 34 million, the majority live in just a handful of big cities. What this means is that when Canada is having an election for Prime Minister, as we are right now, chances are high that all of the top candidates will come to your city multiple times. And that means that if you want to see one of them up close and personal, it probably won't be that hard. Stephen Harper is the current Prime Minister of Canada, and at the moment he is running for a fourth term in office. And yesterday he came to Vancouver, where I live, and my friend was like, hey, let's go see him. So we did. Okay, so here's where the Prime Minister's rally was being held at this sort of car dealership garage type place. Here's the Prime Minister's bus, proven leadership for a safer Canada. So I got this little armband and then I was able to go in. It was held in basically this big open garage kind of place with lots of Conservative Party people everywhere. You can see that they had a big Canada flag, a million new jobs. Uh, protect the economy, and then there was some French banner in the back. They had all these people lined up under the jobs thing, and they were handing out these little signs that they could wave to show support for the Prime Minister. One, two, and three. It took a long time before anything got started. Look at these important people. And this guy, he was getting pretty bored. It went on for like an hour before anybody started talking. And then eventually some of the local politicians came out. They gave their little perfunctory speeches before we got to the man himself. The Prime Minister of Canada, the Right Honourable And here he is, the leader of our country. The Prime Minister basically gave his standard speech. Lower taxes, troubled economic times, families, small businesses, keeping our borders secure, good, well-paying jobs, ISIS, the men and women in uniform, debt crises in parts of Europe, children's fitness tax credit, Conservative Party. <laughs> And then, weirdly enough, we got to watch some weird home movie type stuff. Boot the Prime Minister meeting with an immigrant family and some old guy. And we heard from these very passionate French Canadians in Alberta who were really into Harper's agenda. And then he took a few questions from the reporters at the back of the room, and then basically it was done. So basically nothing too special. But then, just as I was leaving, I ran into an old friend of mine who now works for the Prime Minister's office. Again, small country. And he says, JJ, come with me, and he takes me backstage. And there was the Prime Minister. And he comes over to me, and he says hello, and he shakes my hand, and we make some small talk about my obviously injured foot, which is still in a cast. I wanted to get a photo with him, but unfortunately he scurried off before I had the chance to ask. But then Mrs. Harper, the First Lady of Canada, comes over to me, and she actually knows who I am, if you can believe that. She says she likes watching my YouTube videos when they come up in her Twitter feed, and that just kind of boggles my mind. And then she says that gay people are an important part of the conservative coalition, which is kind of a sweet thing to say, because I'm gay and I didn't really expect the Prime Minister's wife to know that. So it actually ended up being a pretty wild experience. I'm not a very important person, I'm not very famous, but Canada is a small enough country that a person like me, who is basically just a very low-level writer and vlogger and TV news pundit guy, can A, a, easily go and see the Prime Minister in person, B, know someone who works for the Prime Minister, and C, somehow be known to the Prime Minister's wife. Canada has a fair amount of problems, and some of those problems stem from our low population, which can often breed a lack of ambition. It's very easy to be satisfied with doing something that's just good enough for Canada, which is just another way of saying something that's not great. But on days like yesterday, I realized that living in a small country can have its advantages too.